Everyone is going absolutely nuts about employee engagement. I googled it and there's 9.5 million results for employee engagement, judging from three tips on how to get engagement to my favorite, which is employee engagement in a box. Even our executives are talking about employee engagement. In a Harvard Business Review report, 71% of executives thought that it wasn't just important, but it was very important to actually helping them achieve their success. However, then they were asked, how many of you think that your employees are highly engaged? And look at that number, 24%. I think we've got a gap, possibly. It's about a 50% gap between what our executives want and what they're actually getting. And the reason they want it is because the number here, three times. Another report, the Corporate Leadership <coughs> Council survey, showed that companies that have employees who are highly engaged have three times higher profit, three times higher profit. No wonder our executives are screaming for um, higher engagement. But I have a question for you. What, what is employee engagement? I attended um, a roundtable the other week through the government's Engaged for Success. Bunch of HR people, like all of us, and none of us had the same definition. Just sort of like that whole Google thing again. Absolutely no consistency. I'll tell you what I think it is and it isn't. It is not about unlocking discretionary effort. So it's not about working pe having people work longer hours, longer days. All it gets you is people who work longer hours and longer days. And actually a report shows that anything over 50 hours a week, which I'm sure none of us ever work, um, actually you're not productive after that. It also is not about reducing attrition. I never understood why do you keep people around when they come in and say, you know what, I found a great new job. Why don't you just say congratulations? All they actually do is disrupt the organization. It's about this. It's about making better decisions. Making better decisions because people understand more about the business and they understand where they fit in. They understand the purpose, the mission, and the values. It's also about employees who are more productive. Not those hours again, but more productive because they truly like or love what they're doing, right? That's what engagement is, is a lot about. Confucius once said, give a person a job that they love and it's no longer a job, is it? It's part of what they love coming to. Last, it's about innovation. The difference between companies being good and great is innovation. And you can never have employees who are going to put their neck out there and be innovative if they're not engaging. So I've just said that you have higher profit, better decision making, more productive, more innovative. Our executives want it. And we have to close the gap. Where is this magic box? Where can we all get our hands on this magic box so we can just go out and solve all of our engagement problems? Wow. Well, I hate to say that um, yeah. <laughs> um, just like there is no magic fix to the perfect body, and if there was, I'd be looking like that, um, there is no magic fix to employee engagement. Sorry about that. It's a journey. It's a journey of what? Connecting our company to our employees. And unfortunately, you can't force people to connect, can you? You can't have them jump on that scooter, even though both of them are quite lovely people. You're not going to force people. They have to decide that they want to actually join the journey. And it's time to do things differently. We cannot keep doing things the way we're doing it. Gallup looks at engagement from year to year. Guess how much it increased last year? A half of a percent. Do the math. It'll take 100 years, 100 years to close that gap. This is the only way that we can do it. This is something near and dear to my heart called the engagement bridge. It's not a quick fix. It's not a magic box. It's hard work. It's nine pillars of things that probably we're all looking at in our HR organizations. It's something that's going to make a difference. A couple things about this. Every part matters. Okay? You can't go out and just give everybody a pay increase, can you? Make them happy for about five minutes. You can't go and put a ping pong table in the office. A slide. I'd like a slide, though. <laughs> you need to do it all. Also, you, can, you have to build your own bridge. Remember in school when you couldn't copy off your neighbor? You can't copy. Engagement is something that's different at every single organization. You need to build your own bridge based off of the needs of your company mm -hmm. and the needs of your employees. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. So engagement is not something that three easy tips, I'm sorry, there are not three easy tips. It's something that's going to take effort. In the same way that I can't stop eating carbs, not drink for a month, and go to the gym and have that perfect body. I've tried it. It doesn't work. <laughs> and the final thing is to keep your plate spinning. Okay, The world around us is going to be changing. You're all going to be competing with me. I'm going to be competing with you. We have to constantly keep those plates spinning and make sure that we are continuing to work to get close this gap. 
So finally, I just wanted to say, this is, this is not a product that I'm going to sell to you. This bridge concept is something that we use at my company. It's evolved over the last 10 years. I'm really passionate about it. As a matter of fact, I'm co-writing a book on it. So if anybody wants to talk to me about it, I would love to talk to you more about it. Because ultimately, together, we have to close this gap. And speaking of together, you need to do one thing for me, OK? I'm American. I'm allowed to let you do this. It left that last slide. I thought it goes on that. OK. All right. You can remember it. Nine words like nine pillars, which is let's make the world a happier place to work. OK? Can you remember that? One, two, three. Let's make the world a happier place to work. Good job. Thank you.